Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Google Chrome, you may be interested to know that in a recent Chromium blog post, um, they've said that Core Web Vitals have saved users 10,000 years of waiting for web pages to load in Google Chrome. Now this blog post was dated the 7th, which was yesterday in my part of the world, and it saved users 10,000 years of waiting for web pages to load across Chrome for desktop and also Chrome on Android. Now, to help improve the performance of sites, um, Google says they focused on three areas. Uh, Chrome's quest for speed, where they say the very essence of the web lies in its ability to provide information and services efficiently and rapidly. Then the next um, uh, category they focused on was defining the fast web where they examined millions of pages to define a public standard for a fast user-friendly web page. And then the third category is exponential impact of small changes, where they say the average page load in Chrome is now 166 milliseconds faster. Now, if we head to a screenshot provided from that blog post, um, here we can see that Chrome saved users over 10,000 years of waiting for web pages to load and over 1,200 years of waiting were saved responding to input. So I thought that was interesting. And obviously this is according to that Chromium blog. Now, here's a couple of ways that uh, Google and the Chromium team have said they have optimized performance if you are interested. The first is the backward forward cache, which they say is designed to improve browsing experience by enabling instant back and forward navigation. And we've spoken about that backward forward cache quite a bit on the channel in uh, some of the Google Chrome updates over the last couple of months. Um, they also say they've introduced pre-rendering, which makes pages load instantly by rendering them before the user actually visits. And then another and a third category where they've optimized performance um, is regarding the memory saver. So if we just head to the settings for this one, as many of you may know, or we can just head to performance in the more tools actually. Performance, yeah, we have the memory saver when on Chrome frees up memory from inactive tabs. And we've also, also spoken about this on the channel where they say that Chrome has been working hard to keep background tabs out of your way, implementing tab throttling for background tabs, running at Eco QoS on Windows 11, and task roll and QoS adjustments on Mac OS. So basically, the memory saver where they throttle those background tabs, they say, has been quite an important part of optimizing the performance of the browser. Now, um, the Chromium blog also states that um, they've made improvements to the page loading code in Chrome last year in 2022, where Chrome's renderer has also seen some improvements with this um, improvement to the page loading code. And this is also broken up, up into three categories. Where the first is they, and if we head to the next screenshot, this will just give us a better idea. They say, first of all, there's high priority image loading. You can also then prioritize compositing after delay. That's the second category. And then SVG drawing optimization improvements. Basically, that's where the Chrome's renderer has seen improvements when it comes to page loading and those are some of the code changes and improvements they made last year in 2022. So I thought that was interesting because obviously we talk about Google Chrome quite a bit on the channel. And I do know a lot of you, including myself, do use Google Chrome. And I um, thought that was interesting where, as mentioned, uh, the Google and Chromium team over on that Chromium blog say that core web vitals have saved you 10,000 years of waiting for web pages to load. And that was just a bit of a breakdown as to some of those core web vitals which we had a look at today in this video and let me know in the comments what you think do you agree with these points and um and um this little bit of a survey by google and the chromium team let me know in the comments what you feel about chrome and obviously if you feel it has saved ten thousand years of waiting for web pages to load so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one